welcome to the beach house. <laughs> Today, me and Ryan are doing something really exciting. Scary dude. <laughs> we are going down to Sand Hollow, Utah, and we're gonna be going diving, and we're gonna do an underwater for 24 hours challenge. <gasps> are you ready for this, Ryan? Maybe. That means we're gonna get on all of our gear. The water's cold, so we need wetsuits. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to stay the night underwater, so we're gonna be sleeping underwater. It's gonna be really intense. <laughs> But because we can't talk underwater, we're gonna do a little bit of a voiceover for you guys so you can kind of know what's going on. Either way, I'm really excited. I love being in the water. I think it's gonna be super fun. Yeah, let's do it. With my head in the clouds and my feet on the map, we go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map. When this world's got me feeling small, I'll be sure to tell my story. We're swimming out to the spot. I like the sun rays streaming so through beautiful. the water. It's really cool. It's amazing how how the light goes through the water and turns it green actually. Yeah. So we're just swimming out to the spot that we wanted to dive. We're all the way out here on this little bitty island next to this really big island. And there's shore all the way down there. We're getting ready to go dive for 24 hours. You ready Ryan? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, get our air plugged into our mouth, and now we're, we're starting our descent into the abyss for 24 hours. What he's doing is he's letting out the air in his BCD, and we have it perfectly weighted, so when you let out all your air in the vest, you'll sink to the bottom. Yeah, so I've got actually 20 pounds of weight to try to keep me down, because otherwise I float like a bobber. Mm -hmm. And Ryan looks like you're kind of floating a little bit there, but it looks like you're making your way down okay. I was, yep. I like this, it looks like a cliff. The rock edge and it's just like down, down. It kind of feels like being a bird, I guess you could say, uh, when you're underwater. Uh, you're in a whole new terrain. So here's some shots of Ryan as we're going down. That means okay, everything's all right. A uh, thumbs up underwater is actually not good. It means that you have to go up and surface. So you'll see that oftentimes we do try to fish. Oh, hey, look at that. We'll do okay sign. Yeah, I was letting water out of my ears and I was shaking my head back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at 34 feet deep and we're just kind of making our way down. I love the sun shot behind you. You can see the sun up above. But it's like super, super faded because we're so deep. While we were down there, we actually found a lot of different things. An airplane! We found an airplane! This is actually a sunken airplane, Cessna. And uh, it's been there for a very long time, as you can tell. And uh, let's go explore inside, Ryan, shall we? Oh, yes. Here we go. Let's do this. So right here. Turn, I turn on, on the light. flashlight. So I've got my underwater flashlight that's really, really fancy pants. Going in anything underwater is pretty scary. Yeah. Uh, especially because you have to be aware that stuff can be pulled away from your mouth. Like, for instance, the water. Uh, actually, in the ceiling, that's bubbles huddling up, by the way. Mm -hmm. But kind of makes a reflection, which is cool. Like your hose that gives you air, sometimes it can catch on things. Go inside, think. Ryan. Okay. Go search for mysteries and treasures. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually really, really cool. I got a good shot. Mm -hmm. Ryan's butt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got bored watching Ryan, so I just kind of started to wander up. 
But as you can see, as you go in there, the quality of what you're looking at can actually Oh, this is down. cool. There was a hole in the top, so as Ryan was breathing inside, it was making bubbles and it was all escaping through the top of the airplane, which I thought was pretty neat. I didn't even know that was happening. Oh, and then we found this cool yellow cord, which kind of like leads us through the water to our next destination. Okay, time to go. Let's go see where this yellow cord leads. Any ideas? See, I thought we were gonna go find a van or something, but we yeah. found something a little bit different. Something we didn't expect to find. Something we've never seen. I think that was an egg patch, by the way, like this. Fish egg. Yeah, or something. Okay, how deep are we? Was that 45, 45 feet deep? Mm -hmm. Barely, barely read that. Yep. After 40 feet, it got really, really cold, like probably around 50 degrees or so. That's why you had to have the seven millimeter suits on. Look at that! Look at what we found! A sunken boat! A boat! How did this get down here? <laughs> yeah, it was really, really cool. It Underwater, things appear really, really big, too. Oh, yeah. It, it felt big. Oh, there's a fish inside living in that boat. This yeah. Was, this was kind of getting a little closer to the end of the day. We'd been down for a long time at this point. I was getting kind of hungry. It was hard to, we couldn't eat anything down mm. there. So we were just kind of, just, yep. we ate a lot before we left. That's yep. probably why the wetsuit didn't fit so, or fit kind of <laughs> <snug>. <laughs> Yeah. That is a bass, right? I don't know, maybe a bluegill. So as I was there, I actually noticed there was a key in the ignition, so I thought I'd try it out. But of course, uh, it was, the engine I think was flooded. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the buttons, yeah, the buttons weren't working. Tried the, the throttle, but it was locked in place. So. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> you tried. I did try. <laughs> it may have kind of fun to do an underwater. 50 trip. feet down. It was very cold down there. Yes. And we were okay. Yes, we were. I like how there's like algae sticking to Ryan's little computer. Dive computer, yep. We've been down there for a long time at this point. I think algae was starting to grow on us. Really fun to explore. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't find any dead bodies. Fortunately, we were okay. Yes, and we were okay that way. Is that a hole in the bottom of the boat? I think there were some holes in it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. No there worries. Were, there was a bunch of rocks in it too, I think, helping to hold it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Goodbye, boat. Bye, boat. I think it's starting to get... We touched the boat. <laughs> the boat. Look, Ryan. Do you see that thing? Okay. I can't remember, what did I see? Oh yeah! We, we found the cord! We found the cord again. Let's follow it for a little while and see where it takes us. For underwater navigating, a lot of the times they they would actually add uh, like ropes to things. Oh yeah, we found this really cool... Underwater tube. Tube to go swim through. So I decided to swim through it. Here I am swimming through it. It was kind of scary, but cool. Yeah. You can see the bubbles blowing up on the top of it too. Hanging out at the top of the tube. Cool, okay. All right, I think it's getting darker out. The sun's yeah, it's getting really late. Getting darker out in the sky. Oh, and then we were following the cord and then it just dead ended. Dead end, Quack. nothing. There was nothing. It just went into the ground or something. Yep. And that's right about the time that it was getting to be bedtime. Yep. Well, it was getting dark anyway. Now you can only see with our flashlights. Mm -hmm. It got really late. I'm not even sure what time it was because we didn't have watches with us. Yeah, we didn't have dive watches like other things. But we could see fish and I think they were sleeping because they just kind of sit there. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the at the bottom of the lake. It was interesting as you're swimming, you'd be like, what is that? And then it would swim away yeah. as you get closer. They kind of reflected a little bit the flashlights, mm -hmm. which were kind of cool. Oh, what is that thing? I can't remember. What, what did we find? Oh, I think that might be another like egg pouch or egg patch or yeah. something. As we were down there, we didn't search around that much at night because it's kind of. It was really cold. Yeah, really cold, and and at the same time we want, kind of wanted to conserve energy at that point. Yeah, and we were tired. We'd been diving all day at this point. I was following my compass because it's hard to tell when you're underwater. You can't tell which way is north, south, east, or west. So I've got my compass out. Mm -hmm. We're kind of navigating to a little bit more of a shallow place. I like Ryan's glowy thing on his back. You can see he's got a glower yep. going there. We had to be able to tell where each other were uh, because it was kind of scary. You don't know where people are. Oh, this is weird. There was like no, nothing growing on the bottom here. It was just mm -hmm. kind of dead. Yeah. 
but we were swimming to a more shallow area that wasn't quite so deep because when you're so deep, it gets really, really cold. So I, I was Was actually, this you sweeping right here? I think I was falling, starting to fall asleep. And so were you. Mm -hmm. But we were, it was too deep and we were falling into the, <laughs> into the weeds. Went into the weeds. So we're like. Yeah, and you don't want that. So I, I believe we found a different spot. Yeah, I think we went somewhere else that was a little bit warmer. Yeah, we didn't want to get tangled up. But it was getting late and we were both super exhausted at this point. We're see, see how deep we were, 48 feet? Yeah, it was still cold. Yeah, so we went. Oh, and then we were going. Oh yeah, we found a, a tire yeah, and it, a chain hooked to it. I think there was a buoy up at the top of that. And then we found a sunken tire. And I was just so intrigued by this tire, I decided that I had to stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, was there a fish right there? It looked like you were about to oh, grab a fish. There was, there was. I pointed at that fish. That fish was about three inches long. And I almost kicked it with my fin. Yep. <laughs> I was like, no, kick it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to stand on this tire. I don't know why I wanted to stand on it. I think I was just so drowsy. It was kind of like almost slap happy, kind of silly, goofy. <laughs> but we were able to finally find a more shallow place that we could lay down. Still okay. Okay, okay. Another fish. There's quite a few fish underwater. I think one of the biggest ones we saw, uh, oh, that was a big one. You saw that. Ooh. We saw one that was probably, what, uh, 14 inches long? Oh, here, we were looking at some other divers. Yeah, there are other divers. They were flashing their lights at us, but when we got over there, they just kind of swam away. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't need anything. Again, you can't really talk underwater, so we found a different spot that was a little bit more Oh, <laughs> Relax. Uh, uh, not as much seaweed, and then of course we did some sleeping. It was very comfortable. Okay. Morning. It's the next day. As you can see, the light, uh, as the light comes up, it turns the water green. But yeah. as you go higher, it turns it blue. So, so I had to, we we didn't film a lot after we slept, of course, because it wasn't that interesting. But also, I had to conserve the battery on my GoPro. It had to last the full 24 hours. But w this is the next morning. I just remember being super hungry. Mm, mm -hmm. And I'm always hungry. And we were just kind of exploring. Going through the Trying to see what else we might be find. <laughs> I think th there's something really funny coming up. I think, I just remember in the morning, we found the line, yeah. We found the line and we were traveling along This was a different line, line, I think. Yeah, I don't know if they're all connected or not, but I was like, let's follow it. And the craziest thing happened right here. You can listen very carefully. You can actually hear me. <laughs> you were screaming? I screamed underwater and you could hear it. Because that fish Cause attacked Because that fish you. was so mean. I just, I want to hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this fish is going to bite me. I just know it. So I'm going to use my GoPro as like a sword. Get back. Get back. Oh, and it bit the GoPro. <laughs> Look how big its mouth got. Boom. Boom! Right in the hit face. I know I hit it too. And then Ryan was like, I'm gonna punch it in the face. <laughs> it was being mean. It, I was just defending myself. That fish was huge. But it was probably defending babies a nest or, or a nest or something. But, but we weren't trying to hurt it. We were just not wanting to get hurt by it. Yep. So yeah, they say, go away. <laughs> oh, and then it was almost the end of the 24 hours. I could tell because the sun was almost to the same point as it was yesterday. And we were like, let's do some really cool, like, Searching. Search, search and rescue. So we were kind of doing a little bit of treasure hunting, trying to see if we could find some cool stuff a little bit more shallow. Yeah. That was a fish hook. Before we were done. You just saw a big, big fish hook. I found a bunch of garbage. There was tons of fish hooks. Ryan will show you his fish hooks here in a minute, but I found trash. <laughs> <laughs> yep, trash. I found this really cool, like, washer. I thought it was a coin at first. But then I also found um, more trash. It was like <laughs> all the trash had kind of gathered to one spot and, and it was kind of swirling around, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, but I found somebody's uh, snorkel actually. It'll, it'll show you it was just coming up right real soon. Right here in a second. And uh, I found out who the snorkel belonged to later and was actually able to give it back to him. Return it. And it was another scuba divers. Yeah. So I, I felt pretty happy that I was able to find someone's there's else. a fish hook there it is i was like wow when i saw that snorkel i was like jackpot <laughs> yeah because snorkels are hard 
to come uh, buy. They're valuable. They are. They're like, that's probably a 20 or $30 snorkel. I was going to say more like 70 or 80 Yeah. And then I found some sweet sweet shades mm -hmm. underwater, so I kept those. Uh, they're a little bit uh, sand eaten away yet. So yeah, they had a lot of algae on them. But here's yeah. like all the trash. All the trash you've kind of gathered. As a scuba spot. diver, the cool thing that you can do is you can actually can collect a lot of the trash and throw it away. Also, you can pick up fish hooks so that swimmers and things like that don't uh, get fish hooks in their feet. Mm -hmm. And you gathered a lot too. I gathered a lot of fish hooks. This this fish hook has still had string onto it, and the string was hooking onto me and t tangling me up, so I let it go. Mm -hmm. Those are the fish hooks that I found that I picked up so that nobody would step on them. Because of course, ouchie. Did you just grab the cool looking ones? Because those ones are pretty awesome. Looking. Those ones are, are the cooler ones that I found. Okay, uh, we're done. We're done and we're, we're in the ocean. Yeah! Oh, wow. Wow. That was great. 24 hours. Uh, 20, oh, God. 24 hours on the air. That was really so, air. so long. Woo-wee. What'd you think of that? Took a while. That was fun though. This was some cool stuff. Wow. Whew. All right. Did that fish attack you? That fish was attacking me. I saw you go like this with the camera. Come on. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. That was funny. All right. Let's cut to our other camera. Beep. Well, guys, just like that, our 24 hours underwater video is complete. That was Yay. that was really, really fun. I want to do some more like 24 hour challenge videos. A bunch of our friends have been doing them. What do you guys think of the 24 hour challenge? And what are some interesting, strange, crazy places that you'd like to see us do the 24 hour challenge? Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe and we'll have some more fun adventures coming your way soon.